What's up, y'all? We are here today outside our rig where we're working on painting, repainting this stripe. We is a loose term. <laughs> what he really means is me. And um, today I taped it off, got it all ready, put a sanded it, put a primer coat on it, and we've got the first base layer of color on. It is this pretty robin's egg color. I'm very happy with it. Things are going well so far. Um, but it's been a tiring and long day. Yeah, so uh, after, so we did get this nice tape that drapes plastic and has, uh, so the painter's tape has the plastic draping yeah, already I connected to it. I think it's called drape and tape or something <laughs> like that, tape and drape. So it made it easier than last time. Yeah, it was a lot easier um, and I just kind of used my painter's tape, my regular roll, and um, made my nice clean lines and then went over that with the tape with the paint with the plastic attached to it and I did that above and below the stripe and it worked really well and a roll did the whole camper top and bottom and so after that uh, Olivia did put a universal primer on it because fiberglass doesn't always want to uh, have paint attached to it I guess yeah so I roughed it up with some sandpaper first and then I used this like good bonding primer um, which hopefully will help everything stick well and then the paint had a primer built into it too, but I felt like it was a good idea to go ahead and just have both since some of the old color was still showing through in a few little places just to help make sure it's all blocked out before we started painting with the And the brand we used, what was the brand name or what is the brand name? Uh, Rust-Oleum Rust Universal and both, they're supposed to stick to anything and go on any type of surface. So I'm going to turn this camera around and we'll, we'll show you what the paint looks like uh, in a different light setting. So here you go. This, you can see this, this is really very shaded. First let's look at this paint. So show us the paint we got. Alright, this is the kind we got. This um, nozzle has been awesome and made the application so easy. Um, I'm really digging it so far. It's gone on really well. And now as we go around this side, this is where you'll see the paint in a diffused lighting. And this is pretty true to color. It's a little bit darker on the screen, but it's pretty close to what we're actually seeing in real life. So it's almost identical to our last color we had on there, but Olivia thinks it's a little greener. Yeah, tell us what you think. <laughs> what it, yeah, yeah, let us it know. Does the same to you? Exactly. I think the old one looks a little more blue to me. I think the old one was a little little more of a rich blue. Or like brighter, yeah. maybe? This is like a little more antique looking. So Not let us, really sure. yeah, let us know what you guys then, think. I mean, versus the cap, it's pretty much the same color. It's a little darker because we've got um, more layers, but. So, and we are sad to say that we might not be able to get a Q&A video in today. We'll still do it and put it out tomorrow, but uh, this project has consumed the day. <laughs> it really has. I am tired. Kyle's got a gig tonight. He's um, playing with his brother-in-law that he used to play with all of the time, Kyle and Carl. So we're all going to go out and support them tonight and have a good time so eat some dinner. So Dana Sullivan says, uh, looks blue to me, you're doing a great job. Looks to me, and Steve says, looks a baby blue, good color. Uh, Bruce says, good afternoon from Lynchburg, Virginia. And Aaron says, looks close enough to me to the cap, I'm guessing yeah. he's referring to. And thank thank wanted, you for tuning in. Sorry, go ahead. We wanted something similar to our old color. Um, it didn't have to be exact, but something light and vintage-y feeling. And what was different with this paint from the first one we put on is this is a matte paint. So next, Olivia is going to put a gloss layer down. I don't know how glossy. I actually think our first one was a matte was it? color, too. And then we sprayed a yeah. lacquer so on top of it. So it looks a little dull right now, um, but I did get a, a clear top coat to go on it to brighten it up a little bit. And then we're going to wax everything too, so it'll yeah. look extra polished. Beneath uh, the camper surface, uh, you might be able to see right here. I doubt you'll be able to notice any difference. But this all has been sanded. It's pretty smooth. And, uh, all the road wear and stains have come off of it. But it is a dull white right now, so we'll put a floor wax on top of all of it. Same thing we used last time. And after about four coats of that, it has an amazing shine to it. So that is that. Let me turn you guys around one more time. All right, here we are. So yeah, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we will show you a picture of it and we'll, we'll show you videos of it too, probably tomorrow. 
once we remove everything I think it's gonna look really good I can't wait to wax the whole thing I can't wait to get it shiny we're heading out of town uh, in like five days yeah. we've been here for just under three months so we are excited to get back on the road yeah we've been cramming everything that we haven't gotten done so far into this last week plus trying to like say goodbye to everyone and like do family dinners and friends and things like that so hopefully we can get it all in and don't feel totally stressed <laughs> trying to make sure we're all set to hit the road hanging with the Holtz is where we headed first and our first stop We'll overnight somewhere in between here in Hot Springs, Arkansas, but our first real stop is uh, in Hot, Hot Springs, Arkansas. Yep. We were going to leave early and stay one night in Mississippi, but we realized it was my niece's birthday on the day we were leaving, so we wanted to try to spend some time with her before we headed out. Yeah, so our plan is to probably hit the road by at least 5 o'clock, drive for maybe 3 to 4 hours, stay at a Walmart, and then arrive at Hot Springs the next day. So that's that guys. Uh, yep. We will get back in touch with you with a Q&A video probably tomorrow. But either way, we appreciate your patience and uh, we're so thrilled to be able to yep. get in this uh, project done. It's time to get back to work. Yep. We'll see y'all later. Thanks for tuning in.